Okay, so I did my two cuts out there in the bright sunlight. Out there lays one piece. The other piece has already been carried out. Now, what that's for is for our stairs to go up to our roof deck. So these stairs here have been done now for 21 days, I guess it is, or 20 days. So they pulled all the forms off of them and took everything apart. Now they're forming up the next set of steps up above them. So now to get through here, you need to be a trapeze artist. As my wife just found out and banged her head a little bit ago when she tried to go up there. So I'm not sure why it has to be like this. And I know it doesn't have to be like this. It's just the way that they prefer to do it. Yeah. I ain't going under there. I get a piece of plywood dropped on my head. I'm afraid my crooked cut doesn't fit now. At the beginning of my cut, it was a little wavy. Right now, they're trying to put in the upper piece of plywood which would be the bottom of the step. The smooth part of the step that you would never see. It would just look like a smooth ceiling when you look up from your set of steps. Oh, oh. oh I just got a corner off. It's a little too snug up there. Is too snug where the beam is. Yeah. Pull it down. I should have stuck it in the other direction. Push it down. Should have started on that side. Huh? Put the other side to me. There you go. Uh -huh. And that plywood's in the way. Yeah. The window. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, my finger. They can just chisel that a little bit. Yeah. Everybody likes to stand there and watch you while you're struggling too, you know. Yeah, I know. Man, I, I, help. <laughs> I ain't getting in there and getting hurt. I don't speak their language. I don't know what they're talking about. Hmm? They, they could tell me to watch out. That's going to hit you in the head and I wouldn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to sit upstairs here and we're working on the stairs above us. And this is where you have to be a trapeze artist to get through. Like I said, this is where my wife banged her head earlier because she has it on a straw hat and didn't see the thing above her head. Because somebody didn't follow the blueprint the original time and made the steps backwards. So then we're going to do some jackhammering up top there. So this will be the steps to our second floor right here, heading up to our roof deck. Yeah. We come around the corner and get these guys up there working. Very tight. Very, very tight. Didn't help that I made a crooked cut at the beginning either. When, uh, when the uh, guys are done finishing out the closet out front there, where we should get to the very beginning, then we can take all this stuff, put it in the closet. There's a guy at the door here who wants to know some information. So, all these buying boxes over here in the corner can be moved. 
into the closet. So we can start laying tile in this bedroom and bathroom area. We already have all the tile. The tiles stacked everywhere over here. There's a big stack, over there's a stack, around the corner of the stack. Everywhere the stacks about multiple tiles, different colors, shapes, sizes. This is our master bedroom, and the tiles are all done now. I'm not real impressed. I'm not real impressed at all. Uh, not really not impressed with the grout work. Here they use like a little piece of metal to put the grout in the groove compared to the U.S. where you use like your uh, rubber trowel to work in. Once I clean this up, I gotta re grout all this because I I can't live in here like that. It drives me crazy to see this every day and every night. So, so I gotta re grout this whole area. And then this area here, the, the tile is not supposed to look like that. <laughs> there's, there's cement and everything else on these tiles that I gotta clean off now. It's supposed to be a, a slate colored tile, but it looks more like a light gray color with all the dirt and sand on it. And then, so I'll have to clean all this and I'll grout that. And then the wall tiles are all done in here. We, uh, they didn't have as many tiles as we wanted. They were, uh, one buck short of what we needed. So, the, uh, the original plan that we had was to put tile on this wall too. Which, let me back it up. Originally our plan was to paint this and then my wife changed her mind and wants to put tile. So we just have to grind off this uh, skim coat so the tile would stick. But they were one box short of what we needed. So, so we have one box of tile left over for this wall but we still need one more. And the way they cut the tile Instead of using pieces for these corners, they used whole tile to cut. So that ran us a lot shorter than we should have been. So, so this bathroom is done with the tile for now. Like I say, I gotta clean the floor and, and, and grout this one. I gotta clean this one and re grout this floor. I can soon clean all this up. And then install the sliding glass door here. There we the sliding glass door panels are over there. And I think from the US. This window and this door frame and, and the doors came from the US. So I just have to uh, find a day it's not so hot and humid and do this. Which I'm not sure what that will ever be. Good luck. <laughs> and then our outside tiles on the, our little terrace is done too. Uh, yeah, I got cleaned up. Yeah. Uh, so very slowly coming along. Very, very slowly. And also got a coffee out there on the door frame and the window frames. You still got a gap everywhere around. I got a caulk. So, but slowly. Slowly. Everything takes time. I gotta sand all the. They, uh, let, me, uh, let me get this piece of sandpaper to explain something. It's hard to see because this is a new piece of sandpaper. But a Filipino thinks you just sand with this little edge. That's it. And then once this little edge is done, you just throw the whole piece away. Like, the whole rest of the paper is still good, but they don't know how to use it. And instead of putting a block in there to use this, see, they only use this little bit in there, that's it. So instead of putting a block in there to make it smooth for a large area, they just do a very, very small area, and that's it. And like I said, they throw it away, because I found every piece of my sandpaper is barely used, but thrown away. So, I also got to come in here and, and sand the skim coat on these walls, because it's not... 
It's not smooth enough for my liking. I can look at the wall and tell you it's not smooth. So, and just like things that drive me insane, are things not being straight, level, square, or plumb. And I'm not sure if you can tell by looking at that outlet there, in that wall. But this thing, from there to there, is probably out one eighth of an inch. And that drives me crazy. I can't handle that. So, but they don't see that when they're doing these things. They're just crooked. It just drives me freaking crazy. So, so just a little adjustment and it's fine. But no, it's just like our breaker boxes that they put in downstairs. They couldn't use a level to make a line straight across to put them all at the same level. So they're up and down and crooked compared to each other and that's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to put a panel over top of it so I can't ever see it again once they're done. So that's our update for the week. We're using a, a smaller, sorry, good truck. We're using a smaller crew this week because our foreman is operating a big job up the street and it took a lot of our people. So we don't have as many people as we had before. We're uh, a little short on laborers now, which sucks because now the skill have to do more than, than they should be doing. The skill should only be doing the skill part, not doing the laborers part. So a lot of times now the skills are... So a lot of times now the, the skilled people are doing stuff the laborers should be doing like carrying sacks of stone, sacks of sand, sacks of cement. So it costs us more to pay the skill than it does the labor. So, so that's it for this week. Uh, we'll update you again next week. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.